Hi all, this is Skate, and this video is about the FV4004 Conway, but only with the 120mm. The next video I do on this, which will hopefully will be tomorrow, will be the 5.5 AT gun in a lot more depth. But I felt like this tank deserved a video on this gun. So, my personal recommendation, if you're gonna free XP the modules, don't free XP the gun. Don't waste it. I already had the engine unlocked, I'm assuming from a different line, possibly, or even the same line, I don't actually know. But, didn't have to buy the engine, so I bought the tracks with my free XP, and I did not pay for the upgraded gun. And I think if you have, you are severely missing out on a lot of fun, or at least a different perspective and playstyle on this tank. What I want to do, actually, before I go into the gun in a lot more depth, just explain what I'm running. I am using, in terms of provisions, the two food and the spore liner. You've got to run that spore liner. In terms of consumables, they are on the screen at the moment. And in terms of equipment, I have a gun rammer, I have improved modules, I have a camo net, enhanced gun lane drive, improved assembly, engine accelerator, vertical stabilizers. And I haven't unlocked any more. In hindsight, it would have just been easier to slap a picture of my equipment loadout. Um, right, in terms of the tank itself, let's cover the armour. You have got 76mm on the front of the hull, 51 on the side, and 38 on the rear. On the front you got 132, which just enough to stop a lot of pen with HE but not HESH. You've got 95 on the sides and 35 on the rear. But, the gun mantlet is where this thing gets interesting. Now it is hollow behind the gun mantlet in terms of armour, which means you can pen straight through the middle of the gun mantlet. But around the outside lip of the gun mantlet is actually very thick. I mean like 260mm. That pretty much only around the outside lip by the way. But of course when people are trying to fire at this thing, they're trying to go for the turret. And around the outside of the turret, which surprisingly people hit a lot of the gun mantlets round the edges because of it. Yet, if you just aim straight for the middle of the gun mantlet, you'll go straight through no problem at all. Hit the outsides of the gun mantlet and it's highly unlikely you're going to go through. And you'd be surprised how troll that small strip of armour can be, quite simply because you're aiming for the outside, you just clip the turret, and sorry, you just clip the gun mantlet and you get a bounce. And I'll give you an idea, I genuinely have already picked up a steel wall in this thing. I, was, I never expected it, but it, it really did tickle me. Right, let's talk gun, because bloody hell I love this gun. Oh, honestly, it's just phenomenal. Right, 120mm on this. With the equipment I'm running, gives me 3,653 damage per minute. That's very impressive, especially when you consider it's got a 6.6 .6 second reload. That's bloody devastating, and my favourite part, nobody expects the reload on this thing to be that good, because it's nearly 12 seconds with the 5.5. You'd be surprised how many people get caught out by that, pop out a little bit too early. Or to be honest, even if they don't pop out too early, you can bloody perma-track things with this. And that's not even all the good bits on this gun. Right, AP, 259mm of penetration, you got 260 on the other gun, it's one difference. This is where it gets good for me though, in my opinion. If you need to penetrate something like a big damn heavy tank coming at you, the max pen value you've got is the AP on 5.5, which is 260mm. Premium ammo on this thing is APCR with 326mm of penetration. And even if you're firing nothing but APCR with this 120, which is stupid, don't do it, but just to give you an idea, you still have 100 more damage per minute than you would with the 5.5 firing AP. And then on top of that, you've got Hesh with 120 millimeters of penetration. But because of that reload and 515 alpha on that Hesh, 4,700 damage per minute with the Hesh on that 120. Holy hell! <laughs> 4,700! That will catch anything, and everything for that matter, off guard. 
Uh, also, actually, I've got to say while we're on the results screen, check this out. I got a mastery, not really an impressive one, but I thought it highlights the gun accuracy quite well. But also, so did the Conway on the enemy team. He had a monstrously good game. So props to that guy. I contacted him after this game and asked if I could have the replay, but sadly he didn't have his replays on at that time, he said, because he's just switched computers. But that would have been lovely to see both perspectives. But yes, back to the gun. Uh, Hesh. Now, I know the Hesh will be very situational, especially as the premium Hesh on the other gun has 200 millimeters of penetration. This gun, it has 120 millimeters. But remember, you've also got APCR for harder targets if you need it with this 120. But yeah, that 120 millimeter Hesh is very impressive. I mean, very impressive, especially with that DPM. Because, perspective, you will rip apart Leos. All day long, easy. Enemy Death Stars, you can penetrate with 120. You can rip them apart all day long, child's play. Grills, waffles, anything like that. 50 Bs. You think how much damage you can do to one of them with 4,700 DPM on the hash. I, I genuinely cannot hit home enough how lethal that is for a lot of tanks. And the other thing to consider is these guns look almost identical. The only difference is the 120mm is a bit longer. No one is going to have the time, in other words, to pause to look what gun you've got. And by the time they have, they've chowed down on a couple of your 120mm shells. And that's the thing, is the vast majority of the player base are just going to assume you're running the big gun. Which, like I said, gives you a 12 second reload. You are really going to surprise people when you start flying in a shell every 6.6 .6 seconds. And if you drop that adrenaline, it really will annoy people very quickly and surprise people very quickly. Like I said, it catches so many people off guard. The amount of games I've had in this where people have gone, what the hell, what the hell sort of reload is that? And because the alpha in the grand scheme of things isn't hugely different. I mean, I can get max rolls of 500 with this gun. Or if I'm using the Hesh, 515 is my average. And on the other one, 600 is the average. So a couple of high rolls and people just think you're getting low rolls in the big gun. But then on top of that, the gun handling on this gun is to die for. I mean 0.29 accuracy with a stupidly fast aim time. The aim time is 20% better on this tank, on this gun, than the bigger gun. And the accuracy is there to begin with. Honestly, I cannot hit home how good this gun is. Check out how quickly we ruin this M46 pattern. I've dropped my adrenaline. Genuinely, we literally rip this thing apart. I am firing a couple of the Hesh shells. Two Hesh shells, actually. Two AP shells are going to go in. But how quick you destroy a tank is just unreal. Surprisingly, medium tanks to this tank are a bloody wet dream. <laughs> they really are. Because the medium mindset is, haha, big tank destroyer with slow reload, I'm in there, I'm gonna start circling. You drop that engine boost and you hit that adrenaline, and holy hell. Medium's got no chance, and you can penetrate every medium from the side with 120 millimeters of hash. So you're wrecking modules in the process. Again, look how quickly we rip apart this waffle. It's devastating. And the accuracy's there, so you don't really have to expose yourself much at that point. You keep moving. Granted, you've got to expose yourself more often with this gun. But because of that, you keep moving because your aim time's on point. It's just fire, fire, fire. And I know this isn't going to be to everyone's cup of tea, but if you're not enjoying the Conway and you skipped this, I strongly recommend trying it. Really enjoying this tank with this. I did a bit of comparative, actually. In my press account, I ran just the 5.5, and in my normal account, I ran the 120. I was intrigued whether it would make any difference. As it happens, for me... Uh, here you go, by the way, another example of absolutely ripping something with a considerably faster reload. But yeah, for me, this gun just sings. Uh, I genuinely think I, I, I might even prefer it. I'm not saying the 5.5 is not a good gun, I think it's got more flaws, and I think it's less accurate, and it's got a lot less DPM, and it's got a lot less accuracy, and 
Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> but yeah, my comparative, over 40 battles in both accounts, one with the 5.5, one with the 120. On my own account, I have a 10% better win rate with this gun, and my average damage is 400 higher over those battles. It's not conclusive in any way, but some people will gel with this gun considerably better than the bigger gun. And even if you don't, the 120mm has got to be one of the best stock gun grinds in the game. I was expecting to feel a bit disappointed in the Conway after coming out of an OP charioteer. Yet, I love this machine. It's brilliant. I can say without a doubt, I am really going to enjoy grinding my way to the FV4005. And it's one of those things that it's nice not to be able to have to rush it. Skip through the tank as quick as you can. You can just enjoy. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it there for now. I might put that random steel wall on here, actually, just for a giggle. It's not a fantastic game. It's only like 3.5k damage, but the amount of bounces, <laughs> it's quite amusing. Uh, yeah, I might do that, actually. Uh, obviously, most important, though, 5.5-inch uh, AT gun. That will be up tomorrow. Sound very sceptical, then, like I wasn't sure. It will be up tomorrow, I promise. Uh, right, that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.